Hi, I'm so excited that my videos are up and running. And today I'm going to show you how to do two different styles with just one type of curl. So I'm using a half an inch barrel from Hot Tools. And um, I blow dried my hair previously, but I used the um, Blown Away. It's the nine, it's the, by Redken. It's the protective blow dry lotion that protects your hair from the heat. And it also has a little bit of hold, so it'll be nice with your curls. I blow dried my hair upside down and got it completely dry. And I mean, dry, dry, dry. Your hair has to be completely dry for curls. And I also used a round brush on the top of my hair just to give it a little bit of a lift. So, let's get started. Okay, so first I'm just gonna use the hair tie and part my hair to where there's about an inch of hair down. And <laughs> I'm just going to take small partings, probably about a quarter parting. I really want to make sure that it gets hot all the way through every strand. So I start up at the root and I slowly slide the barrel, or turn the barrel and slide the hair through. And I'm just going to continue to do this all the way around. And if your hair is shorter, I, my hair was shorter, <laughs> I just take the whole section underneath and curl it under. And that just kind of tucks that piece of hair up so it's not just flipping out or whatever. If your hair is longer, it's easier. <laughs> okay, so you're going to grab about an inch section and start at the top and let the hair slide through. I call these curls ribbon curls because they look like ribbons that are curled. <laughs> and they're just really easy to do and pretty quick. I wanted to speed this up for you just so that you could get an idea of how I'm doing it but without it taking 30 minutes. One thing I do as I start reaching the top of my head is I lift the hair straight up and use the curling iron to give myself a little bit more body. Okay, so here's all the curl that you have with that type of curling iron and the way that I, I did it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is take the, this is for just 
keeping them bigger curls and not making them um, fall out into a wave. So I'm just, I just have this hairspray, it's the Red King 23 Forceful, and I'm just going to lightly shake my hair and spray. And I'm going to do this all the way around. And this is just to kind of separate the curls. And this is very dry hairspray as well, so it's not going to make the curls fall out or anything. And it's humidity resistant. And what I do sometimes, so the bang, it's up to you kind of how you want it, if you wanted it to be pinned back or if you would like it kind of down and curled in front. Um, what I also do is I take the hairspray <clears throat> And I spray it underneath and just scrunch it up. So now this is my style and the way that I'm doing it, but if your hair is different lengths, <clears throat> you'll get different styles. And it's really actually kind of fun to play with the different styles that you can get with this type of curl because it looks more natural than it does um, like you've used a curling iron. Okay, so this is kind of the big curl that you can get with just using the curling iron that way and just spraying it. Okay, so the second style is the wave style. And I like to use a line, which is actually a straightening balm, but I like to use it to straighten out my curls if I want them to be more wavy instead of so curly. Two, two suggestions that I have. If your hair is straight and doesn't hold curl very well, Try not, maybe maybe don't use the Align, and um, maybe just run your fingers through your hair a lot, maybe use a brush or a comb, and just see how it falls for you. If, you. if your hair holds curl pretty well, like mine does, I kind of have to use something that will help to straighten out the curl, otherwise it just kind of turns into a frizz ball. So I'm just gonna use two pumps of this, about that much. And I'm going to manipulate it between my fingers. And then I'm just going to massage it through. Okay, so when you have that wave the way that you want it, I just use a setting hairspray and I like the big sexy spray and play. This is the spray and play harder. Um, so this is just kind of to coat it and this is, you know, I use the a line which can kind of pull the curl out and this will kind of just stop, kind of stop that and it'll actually hold really stiff unlike the Redken 23. It is stiff holding, the Redken is, but I feel like this one does a little bit better job when you're just trying to get it to really stay for the day. And the other way to describe it would be Redken 23 has um, some sort of bond in it that your hair can still move and flow, but it'll stay in a nice style instead of warping with the heat or humidity. And this kind of stays stiff, like you have gunk in your hair, I guess. Like it's going to just stay the exact way that you put it in. Okay, so this is the wave step. I'm super excited that I was able to post this video for you. This wave and curl tutorial, um, the wave is great for just every day and you can dress it up, dress it down. The curl can be wonderful for going out and putting, you know, pins or headbands, things like that, just to like, you know, make it your own. So if you have any questions or need, you know, examples with different hair types, uh, lengths, that sort of thing, I'd be willing to do that for you. So please just leave any of your questions or comments below and 
I'm excited to start this new adventure with you. I am going to do a lot of tutorials on how to pin up your bangs coming up. So if you have questions about that, please comment me and I will try to get on those for you as well. All right, we'll see you soon.